Yeah. I want to explain something about uh, miscarriages or what you call abortions. Uh, miscarriages, most of the time, uh, there are many, many, many things that can, can cause a miscarriage uh, that I really need you to understand. Uh, first of all, there are few things. Miscarriages can be caused by uh, uh, mismanagement, uh, poor housing, it can be caused by uh, brucella melitesis that is in both. Um, it can be caused by crostidios. So many things can cause that. Stress can as well cause miscarriage. I know many people are now going through um, um, issues of miscarriage, but these are the possible causes, these are the possible reasons that I see that are causing that uh, incidence. But first of all, we need to know how to prevent that kind of uh, uh, miscarriages. This is the way that we can do it. Me, what I do, or what I'm telling actually, that is how I do my things. Uh, first of all, I vaccinate for Brucella meritensis, and I also vaccinate for Close Studios. In both, um, I'm preventing the possibilities. Then two, I make sure that my houses are clean. They are swept at least every after two days. I make sure that my animals are not congested in the house. <laughs> so like in this house, we have over 200 uh, goats. But you see the exercising yard is very big and very clean. Two, most of you people are thinking about putting animals in an enclosure or in the house in the night. That house we put it because we want goats to go there during the rainy season. Goats life, they always want to be outside. They don't want to enter in the house at any given moment. So they always want to be outside here. So if you force them inside, they will start fighting. In that fight, it can cause miscarriage. The fight causes um, the stress, then the stress causes miscarriage. You get it? Uh, some other thing, uh, if you congest those animals inside, to confine them inside, it can cause pneumonia. And pneumonia as well can cause miscarriage. I think you get all those issues. Two, if you don't clean your house, that, um, that smell can cause um, ammonia. And that ammonia can cause miscarriage. What do we do? Make sure your animals' houses are clean. Make sure they have a bigger exercising yard. Make sure you don't force them to sleep inside. Let the animals enter whenever they want. Don't force them to enter and close. That is one of the issues. Now, if you get an outbreak and miscarriage is consistent, uh, this is what I do. I always inject them with oxy long acting. Because there might be an infection that we don't know that is taking place in our animals. So if you give it oxy long acting, it does not allow that infection to multiply in the body. And we let the body handle the disease by its own. So basically, that is um, the issues of miscarriages. So if I, I start, if I'm trying to treat it, I can give it oxy long acting at least every after two weeks till when they produce. I only select those that are ready, uh, that are going to produce. Sometimes it helps a lot, but it does not mean that any miscarriage is all about uh, Brucella. No, it might be some other issue. Then some other thing is the weeds. The weeds we have around our, our farms, around our everything, are actually around our farms, even close to the exercising yard. There is some weeds that can cause miscarriages, like Lantana Camara, there is... Um, Phytolacadod cankal, then there is uh, Sodom apples, you know, those kind of uh, weeds around you. So you should try to prevent. So whenever you get time to go around the field or giving your workers, they should look for those weeds to eliminate them. You get? So that is basically the issue of miscarriages. And make sure you have vaccinated, 
any other disease can cause a miscarriage because uncomfort <laughs> of an animal can cause a miscarriage because the body cannot uh, handle the baby inside and also handles its life so it is handling two lives for the baby and the animal so if a disease comes and it is torturing the life the body will eliminate or will eject the baby and then such that for it it can live so that's what happens so what you do you vaccinate your animals vaccination should be done it should be part of us it should be part of farming you get it so basically let's do the vaccination and we are sure everything is done uh let's eliminate the the worm burden by uh deworming every after three months let's uh, I, I think let us uh, also spray every week we also reduce on the burden of the parasite i think everything will be okay that is it i think if you take that uh you can definitely be better i think you can see the animals that are feeding on uh, on uh, um, bugando the akashi umbrella tree I, I think you see how they do these animals are enjoying the fodder they are browsing i think you can see their size it's because of the nutrition so on top of the causes of the miscarriages another thing is nutrition if an animal is not getting uh, a nutritive feeds the feeds that do not have proteins do not have carbohydrates an animal will definitely bot you get and some other nutrients so let's look at uh, the mineral blocks to be part of the meal uh, the kind of feeds that they can eat we need to have feeds which have some proteins we should have feeds that have carbohydrates and then we supplement with uh, the mineral blocks so miscarriages can be minimized and remember that is a major issue if we don't handle miscarriages we are not in business since our business is running towards uh, reproduction so whenever we see babies we are making profits if we don't see babies we are not making profits thank you very much i think let me wish you the best and see you next time thank you